there, I'm Lindsay Palmer, bio undergraduate here at Concordia University, Nebraska, and welcome to our animal lab. This here is Dottie. She is our leopard gecko here at Concordia, named for the spots on her tail and her body. She's curious, she likes to climb, and being a desert climate reptile, she likes it really hot inside her terrarium with just a little dish of water and she enjoys climbing with the little claws that she has on her feet instead of suction pads, which you'll see on our crested gecko here in just a moment. This is Krusty. He is our Brazilian, oh my gosh, our Brazilian crested gecko. He's very old and he is pretty much the opposite of Dottie. He is a rainforest gecko, so he likes it very wet in his terrarium. He needs a lot of water to be comfortable, but he also needs heat. So what I do is I spray him down with water and then he, he'll either go sit in the shade or he'll go sit on his hot rock to warm up. But humidity is key. He has claws like Dottie, but he also has little suction pads on his feet that lets him stick to the glass walls of his terrarium. He likes jumping and climbing. Um, he also can grip objects with his tail. Oh my gosh, hello. He doesn't really have a very good sense of self-preservation, so I don't bring him out very often. Really, he only comes out of his terrarium to eat because he has to be fed with uh, an eyedropper because he's old and he needs help with those sorts of things, but um, he's pretty fun. You just have to keep an eye on him and make sure he doesn't jump like from a tall height because he really doesn't understand that it'll hurt him. Ah. Meet Bathsheba. This is our bearded dragon. She is gigantic and very sassy and very large. I've been trying to get her to lose some weight, uh, but she would much rather lounge around in the sun and eat. She's also a desert reptile like Dottie. You can see she's got these nice claws. She's here, here with us because she's missing pieces of her toes, which makes it difficult for her to climb. I think it also plays into her level of inactivity. Uh, but she's, she's quite smart. She will chase pieces of grass kind of like a cat. Um, and she also likes it to be very hot inside her terrarium and she has some things to climb on which I have been encouraging her to do when she's out and about if I kind of leave her alone for a little bit then she likes to go explore but right now she's kind of she's done with me right now because I just took her out of her terrarium to clean it so I'll get her back in so she can warm up but that is Bathsheba these are our box turtles they do not have names yet as far as I know um, they like it to be cool and fairly dry in their terrariums, unlike the, the other reptiles that we have, but they also like, they like to go swimming in their little water pans, they like to take baths, um, and walk in circles, and they're very annoyed with me for taking them out of their terrarium, so I am going to put them back, I'm sorry guys. This roach is on the loose. Come on, baby. Don't be like this. This is a hissing roach. I know it sounds scary, but they talk really big. He's not happy with me right now for taking him out of his terrarium because it's really bright in here and they like it to be dark. But if you can hear those little hissing noises he's making, that's him saying like, I don't like this, leave me alone. And then when you try to pick him up, he kind of pushes the spurs on his legs out because they're kind of spiky and it it hurts if you try to pick him up but he's not biting me he's just chilling and I'm gonna put him back because I know being outside in the light kind of stresses him out good girl this is Starla she is a tarantula I'm not entirely sure what subbreed of tarantula, but she's very shy. I'm talking quietly because the vibrations and loud voices scares her. 
Now, she likes it to be dark and dry in her terrarium. Unlike the cockroaches, she doesn't even talk big. She just, she's very quiet, she's very shy, she will let you pet her, but she just, she wants to be alone. So, I've shown you her, she can go back in her pen. Good girl. Say bye bye, Starla. That is all of the animals I have to show you today, uh, except for our crabs, which are not friendly and need to stay in the water. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're ever touring here at Concordia University, Nebraska, come down and see the animals. If I'm in the classroom, I'll give you a tour. You might even get to hold some of them. So have a great day. Let's go dogs.